Woo! Pig suit! I think it's totally appropriate that I can have a dream and it be fulfilled. That when someone goes to a Razorback game or is at a Razorback tailgate or is just hanging out with some Razorback fans, they remember us for something different than just being a winning and crazy team. To um, just enhance the way that a Razorback acts around other Razorbacks or if so be it the opposing team. All right, so um, the first thing is here we go. If you're in your car, you've probably got the Razorback flag and maybe even a Razorback shirt on. People know you're a fan. Regular traffic courtesy. You let someone in and then you go. And then uh, the sweet traffic courtesy. See how that works? One car goes, the other car goes. See, the idea is that when you go to a Razorback game, there's traffic, it's crazy, people will get road rage. Let it be that Razorbacks don't have road rage because we have common courtesy. All right, hopefully that was clear. How to act. If you walk into IHOP and you've got a Razorback shirt on, don't act a fool. Just go in there, eat your food, have a good time. The Razorback game might even be on. So cheer on the Razorbacks, do your thing, but then make sure you leave a good tip. And they left a shoddy tip. We're, this is a Razorback right here, if you didn't know. And if you ever saw one in real life, you'd probably run the other way. My dream is that whenever you see this, um, you want to run towards it because the Razorbacks are loving and uh, not the real one. We are, right? They're the real Razorbacks, so I don't think they're going to love you. To be really honest, it shouldn't take a natural disaster or some scandal at the school or someone even shoot up the school for us to all come together for one reason. Our smile can be the difference between someone having a good day or a bad one. Just remember, everyone probably had a crappy week at work, okay? So if I'm assuming that everyone had a crappy week at work, then I could probably make that a little better by loving on them. You see a Razorback fan, I want someone to instantly say, boom, those are good people. But number two, if you're at a tailgate, or let's just say you're at a, an event or you're at a, a gathering of some sort. Whenever you've got food, offer it to a bystander. And walking by some good smelling chicken wings and just being like, mmm, I really could just snatch one of those up right now. Even, even better yet, I got a better challenge for you. How about this? You see a fan from the opposing team, I dare you, I dare you offer them food. I dare you give your enemy something to drink. Because if your enemy is thirsty, give them something to drink. See, here's the deal. They're coming a long way to get their butts beat. They're coming a long way to get whipped. Might as well have a cold drink in the process. That's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a ritual now. If someone needs a hug, give them a hug. Now here's the deal. There's gonna be some elderly people at the game. Help them out. They're probably carrying some stuff that's a little too heavy for them. Maybe a chair or something to the to the tailgate. Because when you get old and gray, your back's going to be hurting. Okay, You're going to be leaning like this. I just hope that maybe one day someone's going to help you out with your chair. So so this weekend and any other weekend or wherever you're at, just, just help somebody out. Make sure they're not thirsty. You can try it. I bet if you teach your kids, they'll do it because they like new things. You can create your own hashtag, whatever you want to do. But I want you to teach your kids this because kids just do what we do, right? They don't know any better. I want you to go, woo, high five. And then when you high five them, that's like a, the new Razorback high five. And what that is, is it's our, it's our symbol of saying we're going to be different. So I just want people to know when they hear or see an Arkansas Razorback, yeah, we got this woo pig thing that we do, but it means something. We've got the woo, you know, we got the hog call. Everybody knows that, right? We got our fight song, cheer, cheer, rah, rah. We know we all know that. That's what kind of represents the state. See, we don't have a pro team, right? We've got we got amazing athletes for sure. But we don't have a pro team. So so really, this is our this is our come together. Every Razorback game is a holiday for us. Now I'm I'm rooting for the hogs. I'm hoping we win, you know, and but I'm not gonna guarantee we're gonna get a perfect record. So what I'm saying is it's highly likely that we might lose at least one game. And if that's the case, then we're going to be unhappy. So why don't we not leave our happiness in the hands of the hogs? Let's leave the happiness in the hands of our friends. And if our friends are taken care of and had a good time, then our happiness still exists. ESPN is going to be ranking us. You know, oh, you won a game, you lost a game, you're ranking here, top 25, blah, blah, blah. You know, but here's the deal. I want to be ranked number one in friendliness. I want to be ranked number... He's probably like, what is Daddy doing? Daddy's bald. Why is he wearing a hat? <laughs> okay, anyway, so 
focus. We got our hog call. We got our great athletes that are doing great things. And then boom, we got this new movie coming out. Everybody's going to know who we are. Can you remember that? Woo! You know how to do it? He knows how to do it. I almost said, what do we have to lose? But that's not too political at this point. So I was like, forget that. We've got to set the standard now. Okay. Now the new hog little woo high five thing, you know, you, that's up to you. You can do that. You can hashtag bleed hog red, whatever. I don't even got Twitter. We got to make sure that we're looking out for other hog fans and even other fans. An, an LSU fan comes to the stadium and they're thirsty. Let's just say at halftime they're getting beat. Okay. That's pretty likely. I dare you buy them a drink. When you're standing in the line to go potty, I dare you let someone from a different, a fan from a different team go in front of you. It's just one more person. It's okay. Let them go in front of you. This entire video is inspired by one of my brother's songs. Um, I actually don't know the name off the top of my head. It's like if we were doing nothing. But the lyrics read on the chorus, if we keep doing nothing, then nothing will ever change. This is my not nothing. This is my something. We can be different. You know how powerful it is when we all stand behind something. Because if you've got arthritis of the thumbs, you know what it's like to vote for my brother on American Idol. I, we still got thumb problems around here. If you know how powerful it is to share this video or to just explain to someone else that we're going to change and do something different, then let's do it. Let the state of Arkansas be looking out for other people. Let it be that when someone says they're a Razorback fan, it means more than a winning or losing season. Let it be that when you say I'm a Hog fan, that you don't even believe just that we bleed red, but that if I really cut you open and I cut myself open at the same time, we're bleeding the same color. Let's look out for other people. Consider everyone family because at the end of the day, this world is getting crazier and crazier, right? Because we tell, we, I'm a coach, we tell kids all the time, winning's not everything. Winning Winning's not the whole thing, right? But at the same time, we gotta remember why we're here. Say hi, buddy. Hi, Come on, say high five. One more time, say high five. Much love, much love, uh, uh, much love. No, we can't just look away. No, we can't just stay the same.